Lung cancer is the world's leading cause of cancer death. It accounts for about 1.8 million deaths every year. But now doctors have taken a historic step. They have developed the world's first lung cancer vaccine. It is known as BNT116 and it is undergoing trial. This vaccine aims to identify cancerous cells and destroy them. It hopes to avoid collateral damage by leaving healthy cells untouched, unlike what happens during chemotherapy. So BNT116 is being hailed as groundbreaking, but does it have the potential to save countless lives? Our next report tells you. For as long as there have been vaccines, there has been a dream to create a vaccine that can treat cancer. So far, we only have the HPV vaccine. It can prevent cervical cancer. But what about treatment? Well, humans may finally have the answer. Doctors have developed the world's first lung cancer vaccine. It's known as BNT116 and it has been made by BioNTech. This week, they began trialing the jab. Experts say that this is the next big phase of cancer treatment. They are hailing the jab as groundbreaking. After all, lung cancer is a global health concern. It's mainly caused by smoking, which is responsible for 85% of all cases. Lung cancer is usually diagnosed at an advanced stage, so treatment is less effective. Only a quarter of patients survive for five years. Lung cancer is the world's leading cause of cancer death. It accounts for about 1.8 million deaths every year. But the new vaccine can potentially save these lives. How will it work? Before we answer that, let's first understand the disease itself. Cancer is a leading cause of mortality globally. 20 million new cases were identified in 2022 alone. How does cancer get away with this? Because it wears an invisibility cloak. Cancer can hide from the immune system. It starts with changes in one cell and it spreads to surrounding tissues because the cells divide uncontrollably. What makes cancer hard to treat is that it's difficult to hunt these cells down. This is where the vaccine shows promise. It has a three-step process. Recognize, destroy and prevent. As a first step, the vaccine flags the bad cells. It identifies the tumor and highlights it as a threat. This will hopefully push the body into step two, triggering a response to obliterate the cancer cells. Unlike chemotherapy, this will avoid collateral damage by leaving healthy cells untouched. The third step is to strengthen the person's immune response and stop the cancer from coming back. Because for a lot of patients, despite radiation and surgery, it does come back. So these are the three steps, recognition, destruction and prevention. Over the next 12 months, scientists will test out this theory. Phase one of the clinical trial has been launched across seven countries, the UK, the US, Germany, Hungary, Poland, Spain and Turkey. The UK's Janusz Raj has become the first human study. He was diagnosed a few months ago. This week, he received six consecutive injections. Why so many? Each injection is meant for a different part of his tumour, to train five billion cells in his immune system, so they can attack the cancerous cells. A total of 130 volunteers, including Raj, will receive the jabs. Dozens of doses will be administered. The trial will confirm whether there are any major side effects. If the jab is successful, and if all goes well, the trial will move to the next phase. This is going to be a long winding process, but it is a historic leap for cancer vaccines and for the future of millions of people. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment.
So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.